you for joining us today. Chamberlain has been a partner with the Daisy Foundation since 2013, but that doesn't quite tell the story. In fact, we are celebrating the 10 year anniversary of this founding educational partnership. And why is that? It's because of our missions. They're so well aligned. We graduate extraordinary nursing students. Daisy recognizes nurses who are extraordinary and who demonstrate what we would call Chamberlain Care. In 2013, Daisy recognized the importance of faculty in this process and developed the Daisy Faculty Award. And then in 2016, they implemented what is now called the Daisy Award for Extraordinary Nursing Students. I've had the privilege of knowing and working with Bonnie and Mark Barnes for many years, starting with implementing the Daisy Award at Children's Mercy Kansas City, where I previously worked. And I am now a member of the Daisy Foundation Board, which is truly an honor. I now want to introduce Bonnie Barnes, co-founder, CEO, and board president of the Daisy Foundation. Bonnie, along with her husband, Mark, are honorary fellows of the American Academy of Nursing, among other distinctions, including being the first recipients of Chamberlain's Honorary Doctorate of Humane Letters degree, which is very well deserved. Bonnie and her husband, Mark, started DAISY to honor nurses in memory of extraordinary nursing care given to Mark's son prior to his passing in 1999. What started as a simple idea 20 years ago has transformed how nurses are recognized worldwide. And now I'll turn it over to Bonnie. Thank you so much for being with us today. Barnes, one of the co-founders of the Daisy Foundation. My husband Mark and I are so proud of our partnership with Chamberlain University and delighted that we get to honor extraordinary compassionate nursing students. We want you to understand why we are so passionate about the work you do as students and why we're so passionate about the nursing profession in general. 23 years ago, Mark's son, my stepson Patrick, who died of complications of the autoimmune disease, ITP. He was not a little kid. He and his wife, Tina, had just given us our first grandchild only six weeks before he woke up one morning with some peculiar symptoms. He was admitted to the hospital with a diagnosis of a disease we'd never heard of before, ITP. Well, we thought Patrick would be in the hospital for just a couple of days, so we flew to Texas to, to hang out with him, and that's not what happened at all. Patrick got very sick in the hospital, and I have to tell you, cutting a long story short, that after eight weeks, he passed away. Well, those were truly the worst weeks of our lives, and I'm sure that you as nursing students, if you haven't already, you will come across families like ours. You go through this emotional roller coaster, and suddenly it was over. Now what do we do? We wanted to find a way to keep Patrick's special spirit alive and, and fill that gaping hole in our hearts with something positive. And as we searched for something positive about those eight weeks, we kept coming back to a discussion of Patrick's nurses. While those weeks had been awful, Patrick's nurses had been extraordinary. Not only were they clinically excellent, which frankly we expected they would be, but we were really touched by the way they delivered their care with so much compassion and sensitivity and kindness, not only to Patrick, but to all of us in our family. And we realized right after he died how filled with gratitude we were for the incredible little things the nurses did for us day in and night out. So right after he died, we created DAISY. It stands for Diseases Attacking the Immune System to keep us rooted in our experience with Patrick and his nurses. We created the DAISY Award for Extraordinary Nurses as a way for other patients and family members and coworkers for that matter, to share their stories of extraordinary compassionate care that nurses provide every day without even thinking about it. Well, little did we imagine that 23 years later, we would be partnering with over 5,800 healthcare facilities and schools of nursing not only in the United States, but in 37 other countries as well. 
More than 200,000 nurses have received the DAISY Award. But most important to us is that more than two and a half million times a patient or a family member or a coworker has taken the time to share their story of the difference a nurse has made on a patient or a family's life. Well, you may be wondering, what are we doing in the academic setting? Well, I love to tell this story because it really was an epiphany for Mark and me when one day at a DAISY Board of Directors meeting, our a dean we had on our board looked across the table at us and said, you know, someone had to teach those nurses who took care of Patrick. Well, as I said, this was a great epiphany, but what made it extra special was the way that our board members, most of whom were chief nursing officers, leapt to, tell the, to take the opportunity to tell us about the impact that faculty make on their students every day, not only at the pre-licensure level, but throughout all the degrees that faculty are engaged in bestowing and helping bestow on nursing students. They talked about that voice in the nurse's ear that stays with them forever, and that they continue to hear throughout the years of their practice and their leadership. And I remember one of them telling us that it wasn't necessarily their favorite instructor, but it was an instructor who really impacted them as a nurse. So we created the DAISY Faculty Award. And while we were at it, learning about what goes on in schools of nursing, we learned about what goes on during clinical rotations for you as nursing students. And we came to understand that you are providing care to patients and families, often just like registered nurses are providing care to patients and families. And the registered nurses are receiving the DAISY Award for direct care. So we expanded our offerings of the DAISY Award to include not only faculty, but students. And that's why we're here today. We are delighted to hear the stories of the extraordinary compassionate care that nurses are providing at Chamberlain throughout the work that you do at the bedside and the chair side. So for all of you who are being honored with the DAISY Award or who have been nominated for the DAISY Award as nursing students, congratulations. We hope this is truly meaningful recognition for you. And most importantly, I say a profound thank you for what you do every day. So long. Monica Haromio, Doctor of Nursing Practice with a focus in healthcare systems leadership, specialty track. Darlene M. Holman, Doctor of Nursing Practice with a focus in advanced practice leadership, specialty track. Haley Hurley, Masters of Science in Nursing, Adult Gerontology, Acute Care Specialty Track. Michael Anthony, Masters of Science in Nursing, Adult Gerontology, Primary Care Specialty Track. Katura Burns, Masters of Science in Nursing, Family Nurse Practitioner Specialty Track. Silver Brook Beauchamp, Masters of Science in Nursing, Family Nurse Practitioner Specialty Track. Elizabeth Favela, Masters of Science in Nursing, Population Health Specialty Track. Stacy Mainwaring, Masters of Science in Nursing, Executive Specialty Track. Leticia Chin, Masters of Science in Nursing, Healthcare Policy Specialty Track. Christiana Faith Duke, 
RN to BSN to MSN option, adult gerontology nurse practitioner, acute care specialty track. Maria Gomez, RN to BSN to MSN option, family nurse practitioner specialty track. Sabita Gurung, Accelerated RN to MSN with Clinical Nursing Leadership Option. Shamika Ward, RN to BSN Option. Stuart Macias, RN to BSN option. Paula Jane Nichols, RN to BSN option. Yansemi Garces Perez, RN to BSN option. As we close, I want to thank you for joining this prestigious event in honor of Chamberlain University students being recognized today with a DAISY Award. As Chamberlain's Provost, I want to assert that the DAISY Foundation's work is central to and perfectly aligned with the mission of this university, which is to prepare extraordinary students to graduate and administer extraordinary care. The foundation honors the nursing profession globally across 4,500 healthcare institutions and schools of nursing in 29 countries with a simple and yet so profoundly impactful aim to recognize those who give compassionate care to patients and families in the way we would all expect our loved ones to be cared for. To master the art of compassionate care as a student while experiencing the intensity of learning nursing as a science is quite an accomplishment. Congratulations to each of today's recipients on being named a DAISY nurse. Your university acknowledges you today as the example of all we aspire our students to be. We are proud of you and of the impact you are making on Chamberlain University for the good of patient care. Thank you, and again, congratulations. <music>